Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, October 13th, 2014, and the U.S. stock market is closed. I really enjoyed my weekend. Hey, and I am not happy to be back in paradise trading these horrible markets again. The markets continued their unabated plunge today with the Dow Jones Industrial Average closing down 223 points. Yes, blood is running in the street. And the only thing that is frustrating to me about this, we just can't stay out of it. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, we're not getting into a lot of positions. That is true. I always say we don't buy too much on the when the market's falling, but the problem is we've been getting into just these tiny little few positions and they're killing us. And, uh, you know, on Friday it had like over $6,000 in open trade losses uh, over the weekend. We come in to this morning, uh, the Dow opens up a little and actually those losses at one point were under $3,000. They didn't stay that way. Uh, the whole thing turned around and by the time we closed out, we closed out just over $6,000 in closed out trades. Okay, now the thing's falling like a brick and what happens? We get in, there's this little bitty rally in the middle of the day and we manage to get into three more positions and yeah, what happens? They're all losers and we're carrying nearly four thousand dollars in losing trades going into tomorrow you know nothing's a winner it's all losses and even though these losses aren't huge they're really adding up because we're just getting them day after day after day after day so i am discouraged i uh, you know i haven't lost faith in the system don't please understand that because i know when this thing turns around we're going to make a ton of money but uh, going through this day after day after day is just uh, r really tough. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the way it went. It didn't go good, and uh, we're carrying three negative trades going into tomorrow. Anyway, let me show you the charts. Okay, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average here, and you can see this is um, quite quite a plunge and. Uh, I think I figured in the last six days the Dow has fallen nearly 800 points. I mean, that's really, really big time. And I would say right now we're not going to have any trouble, shouldn't have any trouble getting to my objective, which is 16,000. And that could come very, very quickly uh, with the way it closed today. Uh, you, you can look at this thing today. I mean, we we got this rally in the middle of the day, which struck me as kind of unusual. That's you not usually when we see this kind of thing. And of course, it stalled, and then it just really fell out of bed. Um, and as I say, uh, Dow closed down 220 some points a day, and there's just this is this is a train going south, you know. Uh, you can almost assure you're not going to see uh, any kind of correction to this tomorrow. The, the, this is this is these are panic bars here. People are really selling uh, big time at at this point. So uh, definitely uh, looks like we're going to see some more downside action and. That doesn't bother me. I just wish we weren't, didn't have to be holding a few positions while this is happening because we are having some significant losses as a result of that. I'll show you just one of those significant losses today. This was in Isis Pharmacology and we had uh, bought this thing on Friday on a pop-up and it, you know, it just didn't do anything. And it, closes almost on its low down here on Friday and then this morning it actually popped up here and at one point I mean I think our losses on that were under a thousand dollars but 
can't, you know, by the within 30 minutes, this thing was falling like a brick and it ends up stopping us out. And we, that costs us over $4,000 in, in ISIS pharmacology. And it's just a, you know, kind of a senseless trade. Uh, but, you know, we follow the system that's really tough to take these kinds of trades in this kind of environment because they just, you know, nothing happens but losses. I, well, okay, to disprove that last statement I just made, I will show you one other, and this was an Anacor, and we had bought that on, on Friday also on a pop-up. It closed against us, but today it looked at the, open like it was going to go and then it failed and I thought well this is just another failure but it managed this rally in, in the middle of the day kind of like the Dow did and we managed to get out there out of there fairly close to the top and we took out drum roll $800 out of Anacor but it was nice to have at least one little winning trade amongst those two big lo losers we had today Still, we ended up dropping six grand. So, what do I say? Hey, I'll be here trading again tomorrow. This is Trader Bob, the voice from paradise. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.